Friends, now we are solving a problem on gamma function. The given problem is evaluate integral 0 to infinite root x into e to the power of minus x square dx. Okay. You observe the given problem is integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus x square into root x dx. Now, we have the definition of gamma n that is gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus x into x to the power of n minus 1 dx. See, this root x you can consider as a x power 1 by 2. Nothing but n minus 1 is equal to 1 by 2 you have. But e to the power of minus x square is there. So, you have to change like, you see friends, not only in terms of x, you can add this as integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus y into y power n minus 1 dy. Of course, you can add in terms of t if you want, right? e to the power of minus t into t to the power of n minus 1 dt. Any one of them, all will be gamma n only. t power n minus 1, if it is there, gamma n, we will let. Here, n is greater than 0. In this case only, this integrand will be convergent, right? Integral 0 to infinite, you should have like a e power minus y type. Here, you have x square only. So, let x square is equal to y. x square is equal to y. Then, to, uh, this di differentiate on both sides, then 2x dx is equal to dy. From this, what you can write x is equal to root y. x is equal to root y. So, in this case, here you can write this one also. You see, dx is equal to 1 by 2 root y dy. So, than this, this is the better. Right. Now, you changed xr in terms of y and dx is also in terms of dy. So, you have to change the limits of x in terms of y. So, what are the x limits you have? 0 and infinite. If you put x is equal to 0, then what is the y value? 0. If you put x is equal to infinite, then what is the y value? Infinite. That's it. Okay. Is it clear? Now, you have to substitute x square value, dx value and the limits value in the definition of the gamma function. That is in the equation number 1. Now, this will become the limits, lower limit of y is 0 and upper limit of y is infinite e to the power of minus x square is equal to you consider as y then root x is here you see root x are you consider anything no but you know the x what is x value root y so root y power 1 by 2 into dx what is the dx value 1 by 2 root y dy now you have to simplify this you see friends integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus y into root y is nothing but power 1 by 2 and again power 1 by 2 is nothing but y to the power of 1 by 4 by 1 by 2 times half. Root y is nothing but what? 1 by 2 into dy, y to the power of 1 by 2. Now, you take in the numerator, then you will have integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus y into y to the power of 1 by 4. Outside, I am writing 1 by 2. This is y to the power of minus 1 by 2 into dy. Integral 0 to infinite, 1 by 2 times half integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus y. Both the powers are same. So, uh, both the bases are same. So, add the powers 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 into dy. Then you will have 1 by 2 times of integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus y into y to the power of 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2. You see, 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2. LCM is 4. Then you have here 2 minus 1. Nothing but 1 by 4 into dy. Now you observe, friends, this is in the form of gamma function or not. You see, I will write here the gamma function gamma n is equal to integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus y into y to the power of n minus 1 dy. This is the gamma function in y I have written, right? So, you observe integral 0 to infinite is integral 0 to infinite e power minus y is e power minus y dy is dy y power n minus 1 is there. Here y power 1 by 4 is there. So, 1 by 2 times of what you can write if you have n minus 1 gamma n you are writing. So, gamma of Actually, n minus 1 is equal to how much? 1 by 4. So, n is equal to actually here you have n minus 1 is equal to 1 by 4. Then, n is equal to, one second friends, 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2 is here, minus 1 by 4. Sorry, n minus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 4. So, n is equal to here 1 by 4 plus 1. That is 3 by 4. So, gamma of 3 by 4. Hence, the answer is here 1 by 2 times of gamma 3 by 4. Sorry for the inconvenience here. Okay. Now, so this value is equal to 1 by 2 times of gamma 3 by 4. Like this type of the problems they are asking in the examination. Thank you for watching this video.